And this is the movie Letters Design. This is the that's the Navy. That's Karen Parks. This movie The Letters Design is complicated. But it's not complicated. It's the simplicity of truth. Alright. Now Rob Fix and me had a deal. He was supposed to make this movie Letters Design. And in exchange, he could shoot his little documentary when he was a Towson University student. Alright. This documentary's been going on for over 13, it's going thir this is going on the 13th year. So I'm bringing an end to all this. If I don't get what I need soon, I'm filing a lawsuit on February the 20, February the 2nd, the anniversary of my mother's death. Now, I did it for a reason. I made a promise. And we're going to talk about the letters that I wrote design that made this documentary. Rob Fix raised money in my name to raise money to get this film done and I need a federal audit. I need a state audit. I need an audit because I'm trying to go into business and I'm trying to sell my own films. I can't keep waiting for somebody to finish something. You know what I'm saying? I got to do it myself. I'm going to get it done because I made a promise. That's Letters Design. That's the Lake County Jail. You feel me? This is my family. And uh, my family accepted Rob Fix. My family accepted Rob Fix. Let him come to the house and eat. You know what I'm saying? He making a movie. The movie was about Lake County Jail. It was about the corruption in the court. It was about the abuses of the inmates inside the Lake County Jail. You feel me? That's where I put the toilet at. That's me in Chicago. All right? The movie was about your corruption in your courts. Baltimorean. Best Baltimorean. If you go to Letters Design, you'll see all this, right? You'll see me in court when I beat you in court with the toilets. You feel me? Slavery. The see me where I cook in my activism. Building the toilet. See, the toilets ain't nothing but a prop for the movie. And the movie is about racism in, in, in America. The toilet don't care if you black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. You feel me? So we was talking about Robert Sabanjan. He started talking about Robert Sabanjan. That ain't what this movie was about. This movie was about Jarrell. He took it to a left turn. And that left turn needed to come back under order. So I'm going to sue Rob Fix. I'm going to sue the state of Maryland for my intellectual property. My intellectual property. Because like I said, I was making a movie. I'm the subject of the movie. I got rights to that. So I'm going to sue Rob Fix if he don't produce some material real soon. February the 2nd is going to the courts. And we're going to submit it is this evidence. Because this is where it started in 2007. 12 24 2007, I went to Illinois to file a class action lawsuit against the state of Illinois for the prison industry. I had my 1986 case I was going to use for the, for the court. It was Dred Scott. That case right there is where you locked me up for coming to file that lawsuit for that case. That's the Illinois, you all right? That's the Maryland case where I came to file a lawsuit February the 28th of 2011. I was supposed to have this case heard, all right? But because I was locked up in 2011, I couldn't have that case heard. You feel me? We're going to talk about intellectual property. And my movie's covered under intellectual property. And my movie's about the legislative report card. My movie's about the politics in Maryland for the last 12, 13 years. I've documented it. I've documented it. It's about Waukegan, Illinois State's Attorney and Baltimore State's Attorney. It's about mass incarceration in your prison industry. All right? And Al Repmer, Johnny O, we had this conversation during the 2018 elections before you got, before you won your seat. And I told y'all, whoever wins this got to deal with this. So this is what you got to deal with, Johnny O. You're the county executive now. So you got to deal with the corruption in the courts. You got to address my illegal incarceration. You got to address the theft of my property. And you can go right to your friend right there, Al Retmer, because he got all the information. Al Retmer has it all. It's my insurance claim. So like I said, February the 2nd, you got till February the 2nd, then I'm going to file that lawsuit. I'm going to refile that lawsuit. I'm going to refile this lawsuit for $54 million. And I'm going to admit all this is evidence for my lawsuit. You feel me? 
I asked for an audit, so we're going to have an audit, because I work for the police. That's the University of Baltimore, where Schellenbergers are in the federal indictment. I cater for y'all. I cater for 85% of the richest people. I cater for the Baltimore City Police Department yesterday. And like I said, the movie's about Governor Hogan. It's about the art of getting money in your prison industry. You feel me? I'm an ex-felon. I came here straight out the penitentiary. Before Alpha Justice even got established, I was already doing prisoner's right advocacy. But I'm an unpaid lobbyist for Alpha Justice. You feel me? I'm a business owner. And we making a movie about this. You feel me? That's the 2010. That's when the Baltimore City Police Department came to my house and put guns to my head. The FBI has this information. That's my case. 13 is my lucky number. I won my case. So like I said, we're going to talk about mass incarceration in the prison industry? Yeah, we're going to talk about the war on drugs and the war on opioids. And hey, y'all giving white people a pass and locking black America up. I'm a cook. I'm a caterer. Anything I got to say or say it, it's authentic. Go to judge. Go to the judge. Kaminen's dead, so we got to let Johnny O deal with this. Johnny O has to deal with this. This is an open case. And Brian Frost, that's consumer protection fraud. You've been shielding this since you was a Senator Frost for over 10 years. You're very much involved in this. It's a defamation of character and libelous statements. And we're going to talk about all y'all during the 2010 elections. You feel me? We're going to talk about campaign financing. And we're going to use Facebook and Twitter to do it. Social media for social justice. You feel me? Social media for social justice. Because that toilet was evidence. Alright? Schellenberger saw this. This toilet was evidence. That tape was the videotape exposing the corruption. You locked up a whistleblower. And all I did is expose your prison industry. And I used toilets to do it. Because if I go to jail, we got to share that toilet. That's clearly marked evidence. You feel me? Clearly marked evidence. Our community is in crisis, yes, from the war on drugs. Your community is in crisis on the war on opioids, but you got relief for your community. You still trying to lock mine up. <sighs> Meat on fire. That's Shorty, y'all. And that's Mosby. I mean Moxley, the mayor, of, the mayor of Waukegan. That's the Department of Justice. That's the Baltimore Ravens. That's Judge Turnbull and Al Redmer. And that's the IRS. I need an audit. Uh, like I said, I'm up here at the Corinthians. Y'all can come up here today. They got ugly sweater day. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm not going to do nothing right after something goes back. You know what I mean? Sunday morning, come get the game started. Got the grill smoking. what I've been doing since I came here. Richard Sherry did the first story on me in Hard Look. Alright? The store on Falls Road. You feel me? I'm the same shorty. Ain't no different. You feel me? Except I got a bigger grill now. I stepped my game up. Like I said, this movie about ex-felons, this movie about mass incarceration, this movie about the prison industry. This movie about meat on fire. Y'all call me Shorty's Bootleg Barbecue? Yes, I'm an ex-felon. Governor Hogan said he speaks to people that run businesses. No, Governor Hogan, no. I've been working at the Corinthians for 15 years and Governor Hogan ain't came to see me once. He don't speak to me. This is about ex-felons and they right to vote, the right to own property, to be businessmen. And you want programs in the community? I have a program in the community. I'm good in the hood. And like I said, it's a movie and a documentary. Rob Fix got something to do. If he don't produce something, like I said, the amendments, the Constitution, and the judges. You feel me? 
and Greg Bernstein. Do what you got to do, but Mosby got to produce this. We're going to go to the Supreme Court and Mosby can't hide this. Told you I was making a movie 2008, long before you locked me up. You feel me? And the Department of Justice got it. These are the supporters of Shorty. These are the supporters of Shorty. And these people support Shorty. Like I said, go to Rob Fix. It's Letters Design. You go to Richard Share. He did the first story on me in Hard Look. Take a hard look at me since 1997, what I've been doing in Baltimore. Take a hard look and see what I've been doing in Baltimore for the last 20 years. I'm the same shorty then that I am now. See me smoking, you know I'm open.